everyone it's Dawn here from Dawn's Inspirations today I thought I would do a twist on the bouquet of chocolates I know a lot of you have made the bouquet of chocolates in the box and you thoroughly enjoyed doing it but obviously um, a lot of my followers are from all over the world and a lot of you have been asking what chocolates I've been using to make the bouquet of chocolates so I thought I'd show you a way of making um, a bouquet of chocolates in a box so then wherever you are in the world all you need to do is to get some sweets that have got a double ended wrapper so we can tie them to the sticks and then that way you can make them so it could be um, a bag of toffees it could be a bag of chocolates from the supermarket it doesn't have to be a proper box of chocolates so as long as you've got um, a chocolate that's got the sweet wrapper each end to tie onto the stick this will then work and this means that you can make this out of any chocolates wherever you are in the world whatever country you're in and all I'm going to use is a sheet of 12 or 12 cardstock this is some basil cardstock and a sheet of um, 12 or 12 pattern paper as well so that's all you're going to need so as I say if you find some sweets that have got a double ended wrapper on them and then if you get some sellotape now in the bouquet of chocolates I used bamboo um, barbecue skewers that, which were quite long but what I've done is I've found these I kept loads of these these are from when I ordered some little plants through the internet and these came in to hold the plants up in the box and they're just little plastic um, dowels really but you could use the wooden barbecue skewers as well that will work adequately and all you can do is just cut them down but I've got these black these white plastic ones that I you know had saved washed and they've just been in the cupboard doing nothing so this is an ideal time to use them these are measuring up at seven and a half inches long okay but if you want had some that measured a little bit shorter you can just adapt your box and make it a little bit not so tall just a little bit shorter in height okay so the first thing we're going to do is get some sellotape and we will attach the sweets to the stick so what I tend to do is unwrap it slightly I'm not undoing it fully and then put my stick in I'll bring it up to the camera wrap it round and then with my sellotape I then just wrap that round the stick and the paper left from the sweets so that's securely held in place okay I'll do one more for you so just unwrap that a little piece get some tape this is just normal sellotape nothing special at all that's what I'm saying it this this is just so nice because it makes you know even now me showing you this way you can make a cheap packet of nice toffees or sweets into a nice little gift you know when you're going in to visit people in hospital now especially in the UK you're not allowed to take um, flowers in anymore so something like this is quite nice to put by their bed and if they fancy a sweet they can just take one out so it's just a bit more bright and colourful really so that's how we make attach the sweets to the sticks and then we'll go ahead and start scoring our cardstock so as I said I've got some 12 by 12 cardstock here okay and then we'll start by scoring so on one side I'm going to score at one inch and three and three quarter inches and nine and a half inches now I'm not going to go all the way down with the nine and a half inches I'm just going to go to about there at the moment and I will show you why so I'm going to go back a quarter of a turn and I'm going to score at two and three quarter inches all the way down five and a half inches all the way down eight and a quarter inches all the way down don't worry if you don't get these measurements because I will put them on my website and I'll put the link to that at the bottom of the video and also 11 inches 
okay so that's two and three quarters five and a half eight and a quarter and eleven inches okay and then we'll just bring my board up and what we're going to do is we're going to cut some of these bits out so let me just bring this in the right position for myself um, so at the moment I've got the one inch mark here on the side and I'm going to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut down to the first score line. If you remember we didn't score all the way across the sun shining through the craft room window. Didn't score all the way across. I'm just going to cut down and then I'm going to make just a little taper and take that out of there. I'm going to do the same at the bottom line. I'm going to do an angle there and cut that piece off totally. So let me just cut that and then you can see what I've done. Okay, so on the one inch side, you should have it now looking just like that. Okay, is that visible? It's like the sun is shining through the window. If I move it across that way, is that better? Okay, and then the other bit we need to cut out is the first two rectangular bits on this side, just the first two. So let me do that again. then what this should be looking like okay so there are the three pieces let me move across this way a bit so that the sun's coming through the window so they're the three pieces you're then going to cut away okay so we we'll take those out of the way and then what we're going to do on the top here is we didn't score all the way across here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down to the first score line and I'm going to do that on three of those lines the next one and that's the next one so that's those three cut this hasn't got a score line all the way across remember so that's those three there and we can in fact fold those down now get my bone folder and we could burnish these across okay that's those three I'm just going to do a half turn to make it easier for myself and then we're going to do the same with the four lines here at the bottom just up the first score line on these two that we've cut the section out of And then past this first score line and up to the second on that one and again I'm going to burnish these score lines these are actually going to fold in on this side but it won't matter for me to just show you for filming purposes okay and then you've got this little one inch piece there that is going to come back okay so that's all your scores we've got a little tab on the side here and we're also burnish the score line on that okay so that's all your scoring and cutting done and then what we're going to do is we need to just score these lines here to make the box I'm going to now turn it the right way so I'll score all these across one just there okay but then what will happen is I'm going to put an element up here this is going to help secure everything into place and an element on there and then this bit's going to come across and that bit's going to come across and then that's going to create our box these three flaps will come down 
for our chocolates to go inside but the reason I've done the folds at the bottom is so I've got four layers there but two of the layers come up the side slightly to make it more sturdy to actually hold the chocolates in place. Now before I go ahead and reassemble the box I'm going to now decorate the outside of the box so if you lay your box open on your craft mat in front of you I've already gone ahead and cut my paper ready so I've got two and a half by two and a half and I've got one two three and then they're going to go on the inside as well four five six I've got six of those so that's six pieces measuring two and a half by two and a half I've got three pieces measuring two and a half by five and a half and then one piece that's going to be the back where we didn't put the score line and that's going to measure eight inches by two and a half and then I've got another piece to go on the inside this was just a scrap piece again two and a half and this is measuring by four and then what I've done with all these I've used um, broken china distress ink here but pick the ink that goes best with the papers that you're using and I've just taken that just cut look off from around the edge of my um, card stop there okay so I've inked all my edges and now I'm ready to start sticking my elements down so I'm going to go in with uh, my Kalal glue as that's my glue of choice as you, a lot of you know so I just find it's easier to actually stick the pattern paper on before you assemble the box you know if you've got a really sturdy um, double sided paper, uh, pattern paper you could possibly do this with some graphic fortified paper I haven't tried it um, the reason I've done it like this is so you've got the nice matte and layered look as well which I quite like um, but you could go ahead with some sturdy just double sided pattern paper to make this this is another nice project if you're doing um, craft stalls for fundraising for schools or churches or anything this is quite a quick project that you can make put together with very few materials and um, it's quite nice that you can just get the cheap packets of toffees and sweets and put in the top and you don't have to put quite so many but it's just a nice little table gift that you could put on your craft stalls to sell and uh, you know you wouldn't have to charge too much because you've not used too much um, too many materials really I mean the main cost of this is actually buying the chocolates and that's why um, you know some people have messaged me saying which ones was I using and that's why I decided with so many people from all around the world probably can't get the ones that I was using to actually cut the box down themselves um, that by making our own box it's not a problem then so I'm going to go ahead and add the ones onto here as well so these are going on the underside of the flap bit long for that which is a shame I'll have to cut a piece off there are these others going to be a bit long yep they are so I'm going to have to trim a piece off there so let me uh, bring my trimmer in I'll have to do some trimming and re-inking let's try that size that's better right let's uh, do this other one so actually then we've got two and a half by two and a quarter just over a quarter really so let me just trim this piece off here I cut that with my scissors because I don't want to muck my trimmer up and then I'll just have to go in with my ink pad and ink those up let's move that to one side that's better because I just like to have that um, bit of gap you know around the edge just so it looks like a matte and layered look I think it looks a lot nicer so these little squares then we're measuring 
two and a half by two and a quarter but as I say I will put the measurements on my website um, so you won't be doing what I've just done just now and having to trim bits off as you go along those down and then I'm going to put the other three which will need trimming down as well to have my pattern going the right way. So let's just bring in the trimmer and trim these down. off each side here what I've done is on the middle one here I've actually die cut the word thank you because I thought there again this is quite nice as a thank you bouquet as well if you wanted to give it to somebody if they've done something nice for you like you know looked after the cats while you've been on holiday or dropped the children to school if you were feeling poorly it's just a quite nice just to say that you appreciate what they've done so that's why I put thank you on this one so we'll stick these on so I'm going to stick the one that I've put the die cut thank you on on there and don't worry if you don't have a die cutting machine you could always use um, some peel offs you could use a sticky label you could hand write a little note as well you know just um Use your imagination, have a look and see what you've got in your crafty stash as well because I'm all for using things that we have tucked in our crafty stash and we forget about them, not use them. So uh, this is ideal for using bits like that. It's a bit like the pattern paper, you know, if you've got some pattern paper lying about and you think, oh, it doesn't really match anything else I've got. This is a great way of utilising that up as well that last one on there and as I said I've got this piece here I'm going to just flip it over and that is going to go on the inside back there and this is the part that didn't have the um, score line in so I'm just going to pop that on there okay now on this flap here I'm going to put some really strong double sided tape to bring it all together so I'm just going to get that ready not quite wide enough but what I shall do is when we do it I'm going to peel that off and add another Piece. In fact, I probably could do it now. Let's have a look. So if I peel that part of that, okay, so that's all ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some double sided on these two pieces here as well. So as I say I'm using really strong double sided here. I know it's white but this is really strong. If not you could use your red line uh, tape as well. Okay and I'm just going to rub that down so it hopefully peel off easily for me to assemble. So let me just get a craft knife ready take the tape off right so now I think we're ready to assemble our box so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to bring this first one up to here okay and I need to take that off but of course I'm not ready to bring that over so I'm just wondering whether we do it that way I might do it that way actually so let's bring this middle one in first here so I'm going to bring this middle one first in here so this is going to need some glue on. So this time, for some extra strength and quick drying, this is the Kalal Tacky Glue. This is a quick drying one. This is really good for if you're assembling boxes 
and projects like this because the Cal -El all purpose, the clear one I use, is brilliant um, and gives you the wriggle room. But of course, when I'm putting this box together, I don't want to be waiting around with wiggle room time, I want it to be doing straight away. So I'm going to put this middle one up here and then I'm bringing this other one with the long flap over and then we're going to stick those two bottom squares together so this is where just take your time so you feel comfortable so those two now are looking like that so this is what your box is going to be looking like now I'm going to peel off this side and we shall then do the next bit so I'm just going to take that tape off on the side piece and I'm going to put glue on here by having the four bits at the bottom of the box it will make it more sturdy I've tried it in a few ways and I was just finding the best way for you to um, get the strength in the project as well now this needs to go over there but what I'm going to do is because I've got the sticky tape on here I'm going to put it down that way so I'm going to line that up so that's flat and then while I've got room and I can put my hand in I can just stick that down just burnish that down with my fingers and then I'm going to bring that flap up I'm going to stand it actually on its side now so I can really get some good stick I'm going to go in with my bone folder as well make sure we get a nice stick on this bottom it's not quite straight I'm not quite happy with that so just take your time with this because you've got the four layers we're putting together and I'm just pushing this all together because I really want this glue to take off as well that's good I'm happy with that and this time we've got to stick the little flap and the base and this side together okay so this is where we're going to go in with our wet glue on this side it's gone down to the bottom come to the end of this okay and then with my craft knife now if you don't feel happy about using wet glue to put this together and you're a bit concerned you know don't worry you can go ahead like I have here and use double sided tape I would say just make sure it's a really strong one that you're going to be using okay sorry you can't really see what I'm doing but pull that tape off there so that's now pulling that all off I've got my wet glue on this side so I'm just going to put this across first I'm trying to get the light not shining on it for you I'm not happy with that just take your time to line it up straight yeah and while it's like this before I put it with the base I'm going to just put my hand in as well and just push down just burnish down where you've got the double sided tape on the inside okay and then I'm going to then flap over the base and let that stand up right put my hand in so that's your your box made so there again you see if you haven't got um, you know the box of bring them all in if you haven't got the boxes like this in the country where you are you can still make this bouquet of chocolates in a box so I'm going to call this a bouquet a bouquet in a box so it's just like the card in a box okay so really that could do with them um, taking off a bit little bit longer but you can see it's all nicely fitting together and just make sure your score lines are really straight <coughs> excuse me I've got a little bit there that I'm not quite happy with it's not very neat so I'm just going to go in with my scissors and just trim that little piece off so don't worry if you've got bits like that <coughs> excuse me 
And we're going to pick some of the chocolates out of here that I've put on the sticks. Now, in fact, with this size, you could probably get away with less chocolates in here. But there's quite a few chocolates in there. So this is a whole box I've used here. Don't think the children have pinched any just yet. I have had them hidden in my craft room out of their way. So, as you can see, with all the nice bright colours of the chocolates, it gives a nice effect. So if I try and lay it down to show you. So, that's a bouquet of chocolates in a box. So it's just got the nice little sentiment there that says thank you. You've got all your nice patterned paper, so that's ideal to give away as a gift. It's ideal to put on a craft stall if you're raising funds, as I say, for church or school or any sort of associations you're um, related to, like the guides or anything. Um, or to give to somebody in hospital as well is a lovely idea. Now, if you were worried about the the uh, sweets at the top here, see, I think from the angle I'm looking at, it's hard for me to show you, from the angle I'm looking at, it looks lovely. But if you are concerned that you can see your sticks, you can just pop a piece of tissue paper around the neck like we did um, before. Or another thing you could do is get a doily and make a hole in a doily and pop the sweets in that. I don't know whether I've got a doily to hand here that I could just um, show you how to do that. Oh yes I have. Let me get a doily and let's just see if that idea would work. This is all now thinking off the uh, cuff now so let's get one of these. These are just normal cheap paper doilies. Okay, I'm sure you've got these all over the world, so this won't be a problem for people to get hold of. So that's just a normal paper doily, and probably what I would do with it is I would snip, I would snip the piece out the middle, and then what you could do, pop your chocolates through the middle of that. Oh, bunch that up. And then pop that in the box with your doily round the edge if you want it to hide your sticks. So yes, that looks quite nice actually. Okay, so there's some ideas. You could use some tissue paper, you could use a doily, or you could have it exactly how I had it. So there you go, that's my bouquet in a box. I hope you enjoyed it, because I know you've liked the bouquet of chocolates in the box. So this is another twist on it that you, people can make all over the world now, as I get lots of messages, and you can all join in and make one. So I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations. I'll put all the measurements over on my website, www.dawnsinspirations.com and if you subscribe to my website you'll get notifications when new things and new videos are going on so thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoy making this project bye bye for now